Good evening, humans. Transfer Smoth here, and tonight we're taking a look at the WWE Elite Collection, the Monday Night War Triple H figure from Mattel. Let's do this. Aesthetically speaking, this figure looks decent, and uh, really it's a lot of heavy reuse. Um, yeah, just a lot of parts we've seen before. Not a bad thing. Um, there's a little bit of weirdness, which we'll get into in a minute, but like in terms of the gear, I do really like this gear, which is part of what made me want the figure. Um, but beyond that, I mean, again, legs we've seen before, boots we've seen a million times, obviously some knee pads, uh, that like black and red gear with the Triple H uh, on both sides of it, then, you know, kind of a standard elite torso, and then, you know, the arms, again, stuff, stuff we've seen before on various other figures. Arm wraps, which I don't think are fully accurate. I think his right hand, especially at this point in time, was having, starting to have the like, basically hand wrap as well on the right. But uh, yeah, then we get to the head sculpt and definitely looks like Triple H. Like the, the face sculpt itself is very good. The paint is decent. The hair sculpt is a little off. <laughs> the, the color of it isn't the most pleasant and the, the swept back part looks slightly strange, but I think, you know, with a with a head swap with another Elite, this might actually be, like, fantastic looking. So, there's that. But, uh, yeah, overall, definitely decent looking. Very basic when it comes to accessories here. Uh, that, that Partially, that is because this is a wave with a Build-A-Figure, which I think all the Monday, Monday Night War Elites are going to be. Um, but jumping into it, uh, right out of the box, or not right out of the box, actually, we get the other hands <laughs> and switch these out. Uh, we do get our pair of requisite C grips and then actually out of the box we do get some kind of just open palm hands and that's it for Triple H. Uh, again is a build a figure wave so with Triple H we do get Teddy Long's head and uh, I reviewed most of the rest of the wave uh, so we have almost all of Teddy Long here and then we have the head so now we can complete him so uh, yeah now there you go so now we get that build a figure and yeah, that will do it for accessories. Articulation and balance here are definitely very nice. Uh, very much, again, what we've seen from various elite figures. So freestanding kicks, actually pretty easy to get into this. Um, so pretty dialed in angles, which is nice. But for the finer points, we do have a barbell. So we're getting not really any up because we're running into the hair. Get a decent amount of down, tiny bit of tilt and rotation. Hinge and swivel at the arms. We're coming just past our T actually. We do get bicep swivel, double jointed elbows bring us to there because we're running into the bicep. We do get hinge and swivel at the wrists. We get our standard ab crunch. So we're getting that far forward, not bad at all. Uh, not as great on the back, but still it's there. We do get our rotation at the waist. Then we get hips, not full splits, but definitely very close. Front kick. Full 90, perfect. We do get thighs. Oh, wow, I didn't realize I didn't break that in yet. <laughs> Double jointed knees bring us to there. We're kind of running into the knee pads a little bit. Do get boot swivel. Now we get perfect point, crazy forward, and we get rocker both in and out. So that will do it for articulation. Getting into size comparisons, here he is with some other WWE figures. With some other wrestling lines. With some domestics. With some imports. With some monsters. Finally, with articulated icons Oni and yours truly in human form as a Valverse Action Force figure. So my final thoughts on the WWE Elite Collection, the Monday Night War Triple H figure from Mattel is that this is definitely a decent figure. It in terms of the wave, I think kind of feels like the lowest effort. Just again, a lot, a ton of reuse. Uh, the head sculpt is a weird choice. Again, the, the likeness is there. Uh, the hair is just falls flat kind of literally. And the expression is strange, <laughs> which I didn't really mention, but uh, definitely something kind of like made more of an impact on me. The more I kind of look at the figure during the course of this review and just kind of having it. Um, so I think if you're a big Triple H fan, absolutely get it. If you're collecting all the Monday Night War line, absolutely pick it up. Um, otherwise, this could be an easy pass. Uh, but in any event, uh, this is a Walmart exclusive as the Monday Night War offshoots are for both the Ultimate Collection and the Elites. So um, I, that being the case, I wish you the best of luck 
uh, out in the wild, or uh, if I can find the landing page for this figure, I'll have that link in the description below. And hopefully you can at least like look up if there's a Walmart near you that has it on a peg. Um, but beyond that, uh, I hope you found this review informative and somewhat entertaining. And if that's the case, hope to see you back because if you like wrestling figures and you know, any of the other stuff I cover on this channel, then, uh, you know, we'll have a time. So, <laughs> uh, really just at the end of the day, I hope you are well. I hope that all of your tour dreams come true. And most importantly, I hope that you and yours stay where it's immense.